What's up everyone? I'm here at Gold Lake. This is my first time fishing here. I'll be fishing off a boat again, going for rainbow trout. And in comparison to Silver Lake, this lake is a lot smaller. So I shouldn't have any issues finding them. I think the only problem is trying to get them to bite and figuring out what they'll like. So I'm going to be trying the Notorious Custom Jig. It'll be 116 ounce. I'm going to be trying the orange yellow again. And I'm hoping that that's what they want. And if not, then I'm going to switch it up, try and figure out what they like. So yeah, let's see how we do. Alright, so this is what I'm going to start off using. It's a 116 ounce Taurus Custom Jig. It's what I used Silver Lake. You can see how beat up it is from all the trout I was catching earlier. So hopefully this is what they want. Also, one thing that you should notice that when you put on these jigs is whether you want which color on top. So when I'm jigging it, I purposely wanted the orange on the bottom so that way if the fish happen to be below my jig, if they look up, they'll notice the orange versus had I flipped it, you know, when I'm jigging it, it'd be the yellow. So I just figured I wanted the orange on the bottom and that's why I hooked up my jig like I did. So yeah, something to think about when you have like dual color jigs. All right, so I'll be using the same setup I normally use. Got my Ace Hawk and got my Daiwa Alpha Air TW, my jig. Looks really well. Let's get on some fish. This might work. Okay. I'm feeling pretty confident with this. So I've had a few bites with this and I've missed it every time. And I'm thinking that when they're striking, they're just striking the tail and it's not close enough to the hook. So what I'm going to do is going to cut it off and that should give me a higher chance to hook them when they hit. Yes. Don't anything with that now. It kind of ruins the uh, the action in the water. But higher chance to hook up. Nice, Darren. Oh, oh, come on, double hook up. <laughs> come on, come back for it. Come on, come on. It's so small. This one's small too. Let's go, double hook up. Yeah, look how tiny this is. Oh my goodness, it is so small. All right, one good thing about using a jig head with the prickly worm, it's extremely easy. This is a nice one. Good one? Yeah, this is a good one. I'll need a net. Oh, my. You're not supposed to catch the big ones. Woo, let's go. Oh, my God. That's a fish. Yes. Look at the size. I don't have the scale with me here. Shoot. But that's that's a close to a three pound, it feels like. Got him, boys. I'm gonna show you guys all the jigs I used today and what worked. So I started off with this one. This is what worked really well for me at Silver Lake. I didn't get any hits. So then 
try this next. It's black and gold and Taurus custom jig. I was hoping this, this would work, but it didn't. Next, I moved on with this. I thought this would work because the paddle tail, like, it's kind of similar to the worm. Didn't get any hits. Tried red. Nothing either. The one thing that did work for me was this. It's like a, I don't even really know. It's like a brownish type of green. But those I caught the perch with. That was pretty nice. So I finally figured out that it was red that they wanted. Not this type of red, <gasps> but a Berkeley worm red. And we've been catching nonstop with these. And what I've had to do was, because they were short striking them, they would constantly bite the tail. And these are small trout. So they weren't able to really like engulf everything with the hook, because I'll hook it right here. And so they'll pull the tail out. And I wouldn't be able to catch them. So what I did was I would cut it and make the worm shorter. And that's what enabled me to start hooking them. So yeah. Although it also messed up with the uh, jig action on it, but I was still able to catch. So I'm gonna show you guys the difference between a red Berkeley worm when it's whole and versus when I cut it. So in this footage, this is the shortened cut off red Berkeley worm and I cut off the tail and the top part a bit and you can see that the action is still pretty good, but not as great as this footage right here, which is the whole worm. And you can see that it's a lot more lively and worm looking and you can definitely get a better reaction from the trout from jigging this one. It's a really good day today here at Gold Lake. You know, it was really rough in the beginning. Couldn't figure out what they wanted, but once we figured out that they wanted a red Berkeley worm, we just couldn't get them to stop biting. A lot of them were really, really small. So I'm really glad that I was able to get a decent sized one. Oh yeah, a lot of the fish that I caught, you know, they would jump and I would instantly toss my jig there and I would get bit. That was really nice and that was fun. So it's about 6 p.m. right now. We did about seven hours of fishing. Sun's going away. I see a lot of activity right now. A lot of the trout are just jumping up and they're eating the flies. So I'm gonna shut off my cameras. I'm gonna continue fishing. And yeah, thanks for watching. If you like what you see, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.